Good morning everybody, this is Kathy and I am here for my Stampin' Saturday and I thought I would play with Chamel's Head in the Cloud stamp and I'll be using the cute little stamp here, it's the camera and these are the inks I'll be using Pixie from Close to My Heart Nectarine, Lagoon, Willow, Thistle, and Lemon Yellow. And, oh, look at these cute Easter colors. But, I am, I wish I had a little Easter egg stamp, but I looked in my stash and I know close to my heart has these little bunnies, and but I haven't gotten it yet. But if you want to pick up any of these gorgeous colors, I'll have my link listed below, and you can pick these up. And I have the close to my heart mat, and you just flip it over to do stamping. And I found my chamois and they're well loved. I wet it already and I'm using my close to my heart white daisy cardstock and I love their white daisy cardstock. I buy it by the bulk. <laughs> I love it. All right what I have planned is thought I would stamp some colorful cameras kind of every which way on this piece and then maybe um, getting some colored cardstock and putting this down the side and then go from there I have no other plans but this so I just kind of wanted to play so let's I just thought I would have you play right along with me hopefully my big boobs are out of the way this time. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I want to do some more yellow, so I need to just keep keep stamping. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six colors, so. So maybe three of each color, maybe. We'll see how that goes. I will do maybe a couple more and then maybe do some off camera because I know my real time videos are like they end up being super long. Whoops, don't know what that is. And I don't know what that little thing is on my stamp pad. It is snowing today. Woke up and lots of snow. Not too much, but it's like melting already, but like, what day was it? Tuesday, there was snow on the ground. And let's see, where do I want this one? I hope you can see. Maybe right there. Okay. So this this one here is thistle, and it's kind of like a purple. I love it. Okay, we're going to stamp the willow, and it's like a lime green. Let's see. Don't look like. Some of these I need to put closer. 
otherwise I'm not going to be able to fit all the colors on the paper. All right, this is fun. Okay, got three down. Let's do Lagoon. I love these blocks too because your fingers fit right in the groove. Okay. There. I got a little bit extra on my block. I guess I'm leaving all this in. <laughs> okay, this one is going to go off. One, two, three. Okay, let's clean that. Okay, next one is orange. All right, let's put that one here and here. And here. All right. Now I will fill the pink one in like here and here. I know there's a little spot there, but there. There. Um, will that fit? Uh, all right. may have to bring a different color in there. Um, let's bring this right there. And yeah, I'll have to bring in a different color there. All right, what color should I? How about the green? The green. And I think I'll just kind of angle it like that. Kind of get the camera flash in there. That looks cute. Um, it's kind of whimsical looking. Maybe I will mat this in a color just to kind of make it pop. Um, do you think I should add sequence to the flash? What do you think of that? The same color? Just to make... I'm all about the rainbow colors and... Um, I, I love how the stamped color is inside the camera, but... So I don't want to put anything over that, but I like that there's a circle there that I can add color to. What do you guys think? All right, I am going to go find um, go find some sequence, kind of the colors. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I found the right colors for the sequence. And I am adding them to, whoops, that one I already glued. I 
and I'm just kind of gluing them on the flash just to add more colors. Let's see if I have them all. Oh, I forgot one. Oh, isn't that pretty? And I'm using like hip kits, Spiegelman scraps, and pretty little studio sequence. Just a combination of both. And there. And it just kind of sparkles. So that will be kind of on the side. So I will stop here for a little bit and get out my photos and the paper that I'll be using and match up what I want to scrap. I didn't plan any of this. I just thought I would just play and um, go from there. So I'll be back. Okay. So this little flower strip is from Doodlebug, and this is a scrap paper from Simple Stories, I think, Happy Day, um, uh, I think. So what I'm thinking is to outline both of them in pink. So that's what I'm thinking. And then I'm thinking to outline um, the pink and black. I'm trying to use my scraps up. Let's see, I want a little bit more of a border. Now I did um, trim down as close as I could without cutting into the sequence. Uh-oh. This always happens when I'm taping. <laughs> um, okay. Glue that on. It's kind of off, but it's okay. Now I'm going to glue this on. I'm just going to put a little dot of glue on each flower. That's just going to separate the two papers. I love the pink behind it. And I don't have a photo. <laughs> I don't have a photo picked out yet. All right, so I'm going to go trim this so that the border is the same around. And then I think I will mount it on black. That is pretty. I love the cameras. Okay, so I'm using some thickers that I got in a um, hip kit. American Crafts, and they are called Paperwork, and I think, gosh, do they go with Vicki Booten? I'm not for sure, but I've seen where Jen Scow painted them, and I think I might do that. Not for sure. Okay. These are the tags that I had in my April um, kit for Mini Kit Monday. They are from Recollections, and they're the Color Splash. I don't know if they even make them anymore. I don't know if they carry this line anymore. But I pulled out a blue one, just to kind of bring in some blue. Or should I, well, I matted the photo in green. Okay, and then in my Punched Out Thursday, I went ahead and mounted it on black. Now, I thought about 
since I have all this black, I thought about putting these in, tucking them in here, kind of like the rainbow colors. But I like this, and I will kind of move them, center them a little bit, kind of like that. Put my photo here, put this here. I have a sticker here, it says a perfect day. Should I color these? I know my, my layout is colorful. Um, I thought about coloring Easter and leaving the 2018 just I love color. I, I'm so into the color right now. And I have Lane and Lily. So I'm going to go glue this down. Um, I'll use these. Um, I will use these. I got this from Close to My Heart. It's the medium brush. Um, I had one on that I got off of Wish, and it just wouldn't even squeeze any water. What I do is let me do let me do one on camera. I know my video is going to be long again. <laughs> Um, let's see, it goes pink. Okay. Okay, so I go like this and wet, kind of get some color on my brush. And then I... Just kind of color the inside. Oh, these color really nice, you guys. If you haven't tried it. And I'm not putting a whole lot on. And it don't ruin your ink pad. You can use any inks. I am a close to my heart consultant. So if you want to pick up any of these inks. Are really pretty for Easter. Oh, I like that. And I'll let them those dry. And if you want them darker, you can go over them after they dry. And I'll just go ahead and do the rest in the rainbow order. Like I'll do um, the orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. And then I'll just kind of go down the line. I'll clean out my brush each time. And then just go from there. And I will be back. Alrighty, so. I. My son came in here and so I had to shut off the camera and do a little bit and wait for him to go out but I layered some stickers for this little tag and then I tied a little bow on this little tag and then this uh, let me get it in there um, there's the Easter and they I think they did pretty well and they're all dry, really pretty, so you guys need to pick up those, those letters. And, of course, my, oh, look at those colors. I can't tell you enough how pretty, pretty colors. Oh, all right, so, and also, in this photo, I don't know if you could see, Trying to get it up so that the my light don't shine. 
there's a circle, okay, like each circle, like one time around is a quarter of a mile. So if you ever hear me talk about trying to walk, um, that's where I walk in the neighborhood. We live kind of on a ponderosa is what they used to call it out here. All right, so I'm going to glue that on. And I'm going to cover up just a little portion of the photo. And I'm going to put this little perfect day and I'm just going to do I want to put it up, up yeah that looks good right there put that there and then I pulled another sticker it says some bunny loves me and I'm going to put that right above my title colorful layout and I think that's all I'm going to do with this page because it's so bright and cheerful and colorful and this is just Lane and Lily out my yard after they collected eggs and of course we had them stand together this was before Luke was born or he was little and he wasn't in the photo so yeah I love how this turned out sorry it took me so long but i hope you enjoyed the process and would mind giving me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel welcome and i will see you in my next video bye bye you guys